So what I've made here is a very simple timer. First, you would place blocks in the dispenser. Each block represents five minutes, so three blocks is 15 minutes. Then you press the button and pull the switch down. And in exactly 15 minutes, this piston will activate. I've used this in my automated crops. And what would happen is my wheat would be harvested, and then my whole base would ring with no blocks. And this would tell me my crops ready to collect. And it came in handy, so I'll show you guys how to make it. First, place a redstone torch in this hole. Then you want to place a block over that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's pretty late right now. Place a repeater instead. And then place a block over that. Then place a redstone torch on this block. And a wooden block. A wooden pressure plaid, pad. Right here. Next, place a dispenser on top of this block. Then you want to place a block on the back of the dispenser and a block on top. This will activate the dispenser. Next you want to build a border so when items shoot out they don't fall to the sides because then they'll shoot another item out and it would mess up your timing. Then place a repeater under this block. Then a redstone dust and uh, another block. Then you can place redstone on that. Next, place a repeater right here. Block right here. Redstone torch. And then one rep repeater right here and then three. And you want to set these all to three. And just redstone dust right here. And you're pretty much done. So now how to trigger it. The nicest way I think is just to use a, a button. And the switch method is so that your output, because your output right now is on, and you don't want that. So we're just going to make a piston to turn it on and off. Because once you activate the button, this will go down and this will turn off. So then when you pull the switch, this will come out and this will be off but once the blocks are done this will turn back on so that's how it works and then just bring your output right here and just build your wall keep a block open for the switch bring redstone out until you're just above the piston and you're ready to place your button down right here so I'll explain how it works in a little more detail when you place your blocks in here so I'll place one and you press the switch and then pull down the lever so as you can see the output is off right now and so this right here will be off after you pull the switch and if you put a piston here, in five minutes this will go up. And how that works is it drops a block down here. And if there's, let's say, five in here, every time that block goes away, another one will drop down until they're all used. And then when they're all used, this delay right here will finally reach the end, turning on this block. But if you have more in here, so let me get like five. Uh, two. So. And I accidentally placed all two in there. <laughs> I hit the switch twice. So, okay. And that's what happens when you don't drop the switch. 
Okay, so it should work now. So, you hit the switch once, you pull the lever, it shoots one block down, and then once you remove that block, this delay will be just enough time to allow it to drop in another block, keeping this still at on off. So as you can see, it drops another block and this stays off. But as soon as you take the last block, this will finally turn off, allowing the piston to go up. And it's that simple. If you liked my video, please comment and subscribe. Thank you.